These pitcher plants we just got in are absolutely massive. It's a little bit intimidating actually, but the plant care doesn't need to be intimidating for these. Let's talk about how to keep them healthy. So this particular pitcher plant is one of many carnivorous plants, and this one is Nepenthes Miranda, which is one of the hybrids that has, well, the biggest pitchers of almost any commercially available variety. Now, if you are purchasing one of these and taking them to your house, I like that they are in a hanging basket already because that allows these big pitchers and the leaves to hang down and be displayed to their fullest potential in the home. Now, when people talk about caring for carnivorous plants, they always wanna jump straight into feeding them bugs. But there are actually two things that are even more important than that, and that's going to be light and water. These particular pitcher plants do like bright light, but not necessarily harsh afternoon sun coming through a window. So if you could put them next to a window that gets morning light or diffused light, maybe on the north or east side of the house, that's going to be best for these plants. Now, as for water, similar to other types of carnivorous plants, you don't want to give these guys tap water because it can have lots of minerals in it that can be harmful to the plant. So it's best to stick with either distilled water or rain rainwater if you can do that. They also like to have their substrate, which is usually a sphagnum moss based substrate to be pretty moist most of the time. So make sure that you are not letting the soil or moss dry out that they're planted in and they like high humidity. So it's not a bad idea to go ahead and mist these about once a day or every other day. Now, once the water and light needs are being met, that's when you might think about actually giving these guys some bugs because that's what's going to help give them valuable nutrients that they can't otherwise get. Now, if they're in an environment like a shaded porch where there are actually bugs outdoors, it's going to catch bugs all on its own because that's what these pitchers are designed to do. They actually have attractants inside that will lure insects in and they have a very smooth inner wall of the pitcher that will trap them if they do get inside there. And once they fall to the bottom, they will land inside of the liquid down there that will actually start digesting those insects and making them into a usable form for the plant to use. If it is inside of the house where it's not naturally catching flies or other insects, you can put things like dried mealworms occasionally. I'm talking about like maybe once a week or every couple of weeks into these tubes in order to give them some of that nutrition. Or you can find dried insects, maybe from your windowsill or other places around your home to drop in from time to time. So there you have it. This is an awesome addition to any plant collector's home because it's just so unique and cool. Plus, it'll help take care of some bugs for you.